Hello again everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So yes, I did end up looking up what I need control going weird. Uh, what I need to do for this boss fight. Um get all this, these guys. Uh I I want to look around before I go ahead and do it. If you want to look around to see if perhaps I or any visual clues or anything so that I could have figured it out on my own. Um, I certainly didn't see anything up to this point at all. Uh, I really don't know that there are any. I mean, have a look and see what's down here, but... Um, I don't really know. I, I, I don't think I would have ever figured it out without looking it up, to be perfectly honest. Um, so what I'm pretty sure I have to do is light a torch, then come out here. Is it out here? No, maybe not. I'm not sure. Somewhere you have to set light to a, a windmill, but now I'm not sure where to do it from. Can I... oh, maybe it's up here, perhaps? Okay, I can see this is going to take a while. I thought it might be out here because it seemed to be the only place I could actually get anywhere near a windmill. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. Strange. Don't don't know that I would have ever managed to figure that out, to be honest. But um, I'm led to believe that gets rid of the poison in that uh, in the boss room. So I guess we can give this another try and. Uh, Assuming, of course, I don't die to those pyromancers like I have been <laughs> so far. Um, wait, uh, this way. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, uh, I have sort of noticed back on some of my old videos that um, there are things I should have noticed environmental clues in some places uh, but in this one I'm, I really haven't seen anything uh oh not that so yeah I just do not know like being backstabbed. Yeah. Now, this woman here is the one that keeps killing me. I didn't really do much damage to her at all, actually. I suppose I did a bit, just... Yikes! Did you drop anything? I don't think you did this time. Nope. So we've actually got a summon sign there. Yeah, this was poisoned last time I came here and it's it's not now, so let's uh get these guys one at a time like I did last time. going. Nope. 
I, uh, when I was going through my the last video editing it, and uh, I was having a look where the mimic killed me, and uh, I did not see a difference, to be honest, uh, between that and a normal chest. So <laughs> I don't know what I should be looking for. What is poison stone? Um, is that a form of titanite? Oh, okay, yes. So I believe... I'm not exactly 100% sure how it works, but I believe you can then upgrade your weapons to have poison using that. What's in there? Anything? I can't see. Um, alright, well who are you? <laughs> that looks funny. Jester Thomas. I don't think I've ever come across Jester Thomas before. I mean, obviously it's an NPC because I'm offline, but... Um, and you appear to have flaming hands. Yuck it up. Huh. Alright, let's do this thing, Thomas. Yeah, see, much less poison now. She jumped away. How do you like soul spears? Doing all that much damage to it, to be honest. Although she appears to be ignoring me completely, which is good. Uh oh. Shield up, thank you. And you're dead! That was very easy with assistance. <laughs> Alright. So, now what can I do? I probably should go back down and see if anywhere else is uh, drained of poison as well. But uh, let me just see if there's a bonfire just up ahead first. Because travel will be easy. Um. Being invisible, uh, yeah, an illusory, illusory wall. So there's a lift. Probably only got enough for one level up. Maybe two, but I think it's probably only one. We're going up. Still going up. Quite a long way, in fact. There's no other door, just here. Whoa. I think that's just decoration. I don't think that's going to stand up on in front of me. Iron Keep. Okay, so we found a new area. And this ah, oh, there's a bonfire. I say this one appears to be full of flames and lava. Well, I don't believe my parkour skills are <laughs> anywhere near good enough to get over to that. Don't know if there's an easier way, but uh, one of those, uh, in fact, two of those things look like they actually burn you while you're standing on them anyway. So. There is something under there, but I still bet that burns you. I might just uh, rest here. I'll go and do some leveling up. 
and then I'll see just how badly that fire does burn. Actually, while I'm here, I'll check. Do you do upgrades? I knew you'd be. No, you just do normal up, uh, normal upgrades, not uh, infusions. How goes your journey? Take these. They should help a bit. Ooh, this is new. A blacksmith's hammer. Uh, does that mean I can do my own upgrading now? My witless daughter finally came home. Just as oblivious as she's always been. Well, at least now I can keep an eye on her. Wait. Is that your daughter there? Stones? Try asking my daughter. You might be surprised. She was talking about stones, that, uh... Now, what's her name? Don't go near that scum near the pit. The scoundrel's name is Gilligan, and he's infamous in our hometown. Gilligan? Yes, everyone's heard of him, as he always manages to stir up trouble. Little buddy. Gilligan can certainly be helpful at times, but he's a real conniver when it comes to money. Huh. There are even people out for his life. And you can bet he brought it on himself. Well, I didn't know anyone else had appeared near the pit. Drat. <laughs> You're worse than my reckless daughter. Don't spend your whole life in transit, you hear? You'll need souls to repair and improve equipment. I know only of smithing. Don't right, waste... That's, that's um... <laughs> Don't waste my time. Old dialogue. So are you his daughter then, are You've you? been long away. Well... Still only got the same stuff, though. You know how they call this place Drang Lake, right? Well, in the old lore, in stories and the like, they said it had another name. What was it? Well, I don't know. It's just something I heard. Since long, long ago, many kingdoms have risen and fallen on this very spot. Each like a great flame that turns to soot. Maybe that's why people don't remember much about the past. You see that blacksmith over there? Is he one of those hollows? He seems to keep eyeing me up. He sort of looks like my father. He's a blacksmith too, you see. The poor man's such a worrywart. But he wouldn't follow me out here, would he? <laughs> Strange. I was born in a land to the west, Volgan. Famous for its merchants. There were great, bustling cities. But for me, they were suffocating. And so I set out in search of stones in faraway lands. There are dangers, for certain, but I much prefer to live this way. But, for the life of me, I can't remember how I ended up here. It's as if I were drawn to the place, or lured in. Oh, I don't know. 